Hey guys, welcome back. So from our previous video, we learned about how to use the simulator. And also we learned how to blink the LED on and off. Uh, so today we're going to add three more LEDs to make it more interesting. So we will use uh, some pins or digital pins from the Arduino. Uh, last time we used 13 which we use the uh, built-in LED. So now we're going to add the, uh, the other uh, digital pins, right? So each of these pins from zero to 13 can be used as an input or an output. So for today's lesson, we will be using this as an output. So we will, we will use the input statement uh, to my uh, probably uh, the next video or third video uh, for now we will just be using output okay so all these digital pins we will use this as an output okay so here we're going to attach our LED as an output we will be using 12 11 10 right uh, output like I said uh, output is to is when we feel is when we see or when we hear that there is an output right so LED is an output is because we can see the light so each of this pin can provide us uh, 5 volts and receive 20 milliampere this is a recommended operating values and it can go until 40 milliampere but you must not exceed or else uh, you will damage your microcontroller right? The Arduino will be powered by the USB here, as you can see from the simulator. So if you buy this, uh, they will provide you the, I think they will provide you the USB. If they don't, then you need to buy the USB cable, uh, this one, okay? Uh, it comes with a USB cable. So the USB cable, it looks like this. So the other end of this USB cable will be attached to your computer, right? Again, all right, so again, we will be using uh, pin mode. Uh, we go to our code editor here. We will be using pin mode, digital write, okay? Functions, these are both functions to our code editor. Like I said, if you want to learn more about functions and uh, the language, uh, the language that we use, this is a C++, C++ simplified. Okay, so you will learn the structures, the variables, and the functions. Okay, you just go to the Arduino website. Okay, before we do a pro this uh, program, let's define first what is the what is LED. Okay, let's go and get one LED here. All right, LED. Where are you? There you go. Yeah, maybe put here first at one side. Then we need resistor and we need a breadboard okay later on we're going to explain each one of this all right we, we put it here first okay let's bring this thing down okay LED this one so LED is an electronic component that lights up whenever the electricity passes through you probably know by now some of our lights are made from LEDs your car lights home lights your flashlights and more so LED can convert electrical energy into light energy the bended this bended here is called anode this is positive it has a polarity so both of these pins both of this both of this uh, terminals there are polarities this is, this is a positive polarity this is anode I hope you can see it and this is a cathode which is the negative polarity so again there is a polarity okay, you will, uh, yeah just put it here for it. and then uh, how about resistor here so resi resistor is an uh, is another electronic component where it resist resist or prevents the flow of electricity resulting the light luminance of this uh, LED to be changed so we will we will uh, we will attach this uh, resistor here in series to our LED 
the higher the value of our resistor in ohms, this is the unit in ohms, the softer the light is. Later on, we will compare different uh, set resistors values. We will change the values of this resistor. We will change the values of this resistor from different LEDs. Okay, then you will see that the higher the uh, the value of the resistor, the softer the LED. Hopefully, I get it right. Anyway, this will help us to protect this uh, LED from receiving too much voltage. Okay. In short, uh, L uh, if the LED is so bright, that means uh, it can easily damage, right? It can quickly burn out without a resistor. So imagine if you remove this, it can easily burn out this LED. Okay, now this one, what is this? This is a breadboard. This is a tool which you can build electronic circuits. So like this one, you attach this LED here. It consists of rows, uh, rows or the rows of this one. Okay, horizontally, these are rows and these are columns, right? Which of these are columns? This one also are columns, this one also rows. Okay. This breadboard has a lines of connections. This breadboard here, it has a con horizontally connection, a horizontally connected and vertically connected. So this horizontal line is used for uh, power and the ground. Ground is negative. You will attach this ground to the ground of the Arduino Uno, okay? This GND in short form. If I am going to highlight this uh, horizontal line here, you will see that they are connected to each other. So that means they are connected to each other. Okay, these are all negative, minus, and these are all positive. Okay. All right, and uh, this uh, columns they are connected to each other. So from here to here, they are connected. From here to here, they are connected. So this gap here is, uh, this gap in the middle of this board uh, has no connection, okay? It's just to separate this one panel here, another panel here, okay? Just to separate these uh, two panels. So from here to here, okay? So this is a gap at the middle of this breadboard. There is no connection again. All right, so let us now finish all the connections so that we can complete our circuit. Okay, let's uh, connect this negative here. Okay, let me, okay. All right, I will drag this down here. Okay, so let's put in our LED here. I put my resistor here, we need three. Like this we just uh, control C and then uh, control D or control C and control D yeah if you are using Windows if you are using Mac you can just uh, co command C and command D okay another one for resistor also oops this okay and then we can change color of this I will uh, make this a green this one will be yellow and this one will be red leave it like this okay anode so anode this is where you connect your resistor in series all right then this uh, at the end of this the other side of this resistor will be your connection, the jumper wires to be connected to your pin number 12. This one, okay? Here, next one, yellow is connected to pin number 11. And this uh, red is connected to pin number 10, all right? And then all this cathode, all this, uh, maybe I'll drag down this one here. So that I can connect all my negative. They must all connected to each other, all the negative. Okay, why? Let me hide.
highlight this one and then drop them here highlight and then uh, put it down for one okay okay it's like that let me highlight and then i'll just try to put like this okay here all right so all of this cathode cathode and cathode they must be connected to each other so we can use uh, jumper wires from here to here and then from here go all the way here okay so i need to drag down again this resistor here all right there you go and then here we will be connected to our ground here or we can straight away here but I will just use this horizontal line here so that I can prove to you that this one is connected to each other all right so they are horizontally connected to each other so here and here is connected all right so here and here is connected because of the jumper wires so here to here they are connected because this is vertically connected to each other okay so here and node and the resistor and node and the resistor and 